Welcome everyone to Friday Feast. I'm Taylor Nelson. I'm Corey Arola. This is the show where every week we get a different list of ingredients to test our creativity and culinary skills. These ingredients are ingredients that we use on a regular basis, along with ingredients that we've never used before, all with the goal in mind that we use wild game in every meal. This is this episode's list of ingredients. For our ingredients list this week, we have undulate, uh, could be steak, roast, ground, whatever you want, just as long as it's from deer, elk, pronghorn, caribou, moose, etc. Uh, jalapenos, arugula, uh, cheese of the chef's choice, uh, berry jam or jelly of some sort. Uh, just like last time, spices, oils, butters can be used as needed, and we must use a cast iron in cooking whatever it is we decide to cook. What I chose to use was a uh, piece of elk backstrap. I like to keep my backstrap in larger chunks. That way they, uh, I can use them a little bit more creatively. They're not just all cut into steaks. And they also hold the juices a little bit better when you start to cook them. Um, so wild game is pretty lean, so drying it out or overcooking it is really easy to do. I have that sitting right here in the bowl. Get it out of there and show you guys. What I have it marinating in is some olive oil, and then I've also used a red wine, this Malbec from Argentina, that I really, really like, one of my favorite wines. And then I also used a blackberry liqueur from Whidbey Island. I felt like the berry liqueur is really gonna complement the jam that I use in this recipe. How I'm cooking this piece of meat is going to be in the sous vide, and then I'm gonna sear it in a cast iron afterwards to get a nice crust on the outside. I'm gonna put it in my silicone sous vide bag with some of the marinade that's been sitting in. The fat will help protect that meat, and then the longer you cook it in those juices, the more that flavor is going to sink into the meat. I had this marinating overnight, so it is probably pretty soaked in there already. Um, what I'm gonna do after I get it in this bag, let me just get it in there real quick. I'm gonna put it in my water bath at 129 for an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the size of your meat. I'm probably going to do this one for about an hour and a half to get it that nice rich pink throughout the entirety of the meat. For the next set of my ingredients, I decided to make a uh, jalapeno cilantro yogurt sauce to put over my meat and have the bed of arugula uh, to base all that. Uh, my ingredients for that is going to be some cilantro, some lime, the jalapeno, which I'll de-seed, chop up, some mint leaves, and then a cupish of Greek yogurt. You want whole milk Greek yogurt. Uh, I'm basically gonna cut all this stuff up, uh, puree it in the blender, squeeze some lime juice in it, salt it to season it. Uh, let's just dive into that recipe right now and see how that's made. Using the berry jam or jelly of some sort and a cheese, I'm going to make little bruschettas as the side to this dish. I just got a take and bake loaf. Um, you can get fresh bread from the store also, or make your own bread, kind of whatever you want to do there. Toss in the oven for a handful of minutes. I also have a nice goat cheese to use with this. And then the real fun part of it is a spicy raspberry jam that is going to taste awesome with the creaminess of the goat cheese and some toasted bread and really complement the berry meat and the spice of that jalapeno cilantro yogurt sauce. Here is the lovely piece of elk. I'm gonna put it on this paper towel, pat it dry. We want it nice and dry for the sear so we don't get any water boiling off of it. We just have the nice hot oil. I'm going to use duck fat. The nice hot oil crisping up the outside. Now, part of using a sous vide is to get the meat to the perfect temperature for the doneness that you want. So I'm going for a nice medium rare piece of meat and I went to 129 degrees. I don't want to raise that temperature anymore during my sear. So my trick for that is to put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes should cool it down so that when I put it in the pan to sear it, 
I don't have to take it out after 10, 30 seconds per side because you want to have a real hot pan for a sear. I don't have to pull it out right away. I can let it sit in there a little bit longer and get a nice crispy crust, a nice dark crust around the meat without raising the internal temperature and creating a brown band around all the pink that I just made over the last hour and a half in the sous vide. So I let the meat cool for about 10 minutes and I've had my cast iron behind me sitting on the burner, getting warm. I pulled it off because it was starting to smoke. Don't want to burn the oil before I have a chance to use it. My duck fat is nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and take this over there, start to sear it. I don't have a set time for you. You're just going to have to watch the meat. You're going to look for that nice crust to start to form. So I've just finished searing the meat. Now I'm going to let it rest for five or 10 minutes. All those juices are going to stay in there and I'll slice it up and we'll get this on a plate for everybody to eat. I have a nice sear on the meat now. Just got it out of the pan. You can check it out right here. I have that nice dark crust all around it. It's a little deceiving with this piece of meat because the red wine and the blackberry liqueur kind of give it a purple color before I even start cooking it, even in the sous vide. So you have to be real careful that you're not burning it. Just keep an eye on it. I'm gonna go ahead and slice it open and look how tasty this is. Mm, it is very good. Very tender, very good. That dark crust on the outside, you can actually really taste the berry. Um, it seems like it really soaked in and stuck there. So it's like this blackberry coated meat. It's real good. Here it is. You got your spicy jam, uh, cheese bruschettas. You have your sous vide seared steak on top of your bed of arugula with your jalapeno cilantro yogurt sauce. It is just a nice, refreshing, uh, flavorful combination. Hey everyone, hope you really enjoyed Corey's dish. For this episode, uh, I went with a pronghorn burger uh, on a bed of arugula topped with some blue cheese crumbles, roasted jalapenos, uh, along with that blackberry preserve. Man, it was delish. Uh, so follow along and check how I did it. Thanks for watching this episode. Leave the list of ingredients you would like to see us cook in the comments down below. Then hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next episode. Let's go feast.